a glimmer of recovery. The real economy began showing signs of recovery in June after states eased lockdown measures, despite a resurgence of COVID-19 cases. The New York Fed's weekly economic index, Way, indicated a steady recovery from its lowest point in April. This high-frequency index became crucial for gauging real-time economic activity. In the third quarter, GDP rebounded sharply by 35.3 percent, driven by a release of pent-up demand, especially in private consumption of durable goods. While service consumption initially lagged, it picked up notably with the easing of restrictions. Despite the improvement, the savings rate remained high, suggesting potential for further growth in consumer spending. Unemployment rates began to fall as economies reopened, with initial claims for unemployment benefits decreasing. This decline in unemployment was seen as a positive signal for future economic recovery. The Federal Reserve's Summary of Economic Projections, SEP, in June remained cautious but noted the economy was underway to recovery, though still significantly impacted by the pandemic. The Fed's commitment to maintaining an accommodative monetary policy fueled a surge in asset prices, leading to concerns about a financial market bubble. However, the Fed prioritized economic recovery, viewing the bubble as a tolerable side effect. The strategy was to allow the real economy to catch up with the financial economy's growth, improving corporate performance and validating the increased asset prices. The Fed's approach was to sustain economic recovery momentum and address the financial market bubble by enhancing the real economy rather than implementing tight monetary policies that might disrupt recovery.